to finish your reaction from the wind tonight? Uh, you know, we got off the bus and it was very windy, so we knew we needed to start fast. Um, we were against the win in the beginning, so to get points was huge and critical. And then we wanted to limit the turnover, so we had to make every possession count. So by the time the second half started, the win had died down, but we still needed to start fast. And we did that. Defense did a great job. Their quarterback, man, he's hard to get down. He made a lot of plays himself on his legs. So we were chasing him all night. By the end of the night, we were very tired on defense. And then offense did enough, handled the clock situations well, and then we ended up with a win. Uh, you guys put up plenty of points without Malik Sherrod. Uh, what was the status of him this week, and how did you see your running backs deal without him? So Malik was great, and then we got in practice, and he, he twisted his ankle a little bit there. So we came out here. It was a game-time decision. He couldn't really go. He couldn't push. He's a good player. He's great. He improvises. He makes things happen. So we did what we wanted to do. We wanted to get turnovers. We wanted to keep him out the end zone, and we did that. You referred to starting fast. Offense didn't quite start fast. Defense got the ball right back. That's how critical was that early scenario. Hey, we all want to be one heartbeat. We talk about that all the time. The kicking game, offense, and defense. However it goes down, if the offense goes and scores, fine. Defense has to get a stop or a turnover, and then the offense scores, that is fine. It's a team game. We're all about team. We play in three sequences, just like I said, the kicking game, offense, and defense, and it worked out the way we needed it to work out. Somebody needed to start fast. Defense kick-started. Offense uh, capitalized off it, and it was a good deal. Uh, lockers. Shared some of the interceptions today. Uh, what do you think about Julian and Azulian uh, both getting one? Man, it's great, man. I mean, we have three good corners. So those guys getting in there and being able to play is awesome. Uh, love those guys. They compete. They're going to challenge every time. They just they love that they're on that island. So it's good to see, and we'll keep it going. Uh, is there any update on Braca after this game? I don't know yet. Uh, I know it was a shoulder area injury. Um, we'll have to get back and get the MRI, X-rays, all that stuff, and we'll see what it is. But I don't know the extent right now. Feel to be 1-0 in conference as head coach. Feels great. We're going to celebrate it for 24 hours, and then we got a huge week coming up. So we're, we're going to have fun with it. It'll be a fun flight home. we got some aches and bruises. We're going to get treatment Sunday and Monday, and then Tuesday's Dirty Tuesday. We're going to get back to work. So um, it's football. Five straight games we're about to get into. So you, if we didn't have injuries, that would be the story. So we'll get back to work, be ready to go. Since the game Saturday or next week, is, the sun's going to be up actually throughout the game. Is your week any shorter because of that? No, nah, we're going we're gonna to do what we do. We're going we're gonna to go work, but do everything we always do, and then we're going to get the game day, and we're going to go let it fly. So everything's normal. We're very deep, right? I mean, we can get deep into the bag. We got a lot of playmakers that are going to touch the ball. Mikey spread it around. I think he hit 10 different people today. So we're going to keep on doing that. The more, the merrier. We have a lot of good name guys that can get, make plays. So each game has its own life, its own identity. So we'll see what happens as we keep continuing to play. Can you share a bit about the trick play? What went into that one? <laughs> Man, we've actually had that ready for a while. We finally had the situation where we could use it. And then we hit Cam. He got his first touchdown. So that is awesome. Um, it worked to a to perfection. We got the look we wanted. We needed a single high. We beat that safety and it was good Good to look. Looks like Raylan was partially brought here to replace Gill. Uh, was that, I mean, we saw Gill throw that pass a few times. Was that in the recruiting pitch at all? <laughs> no, actually it wasn't. Um, all his catching ability and all that was, you know, and everything. But then uh, we found out he could do stuff like that, so we're going to use it. So we lucked up into that, having a good arm. All right. Uh, AZ, just your initial reaction to the next win? Uh, great win, you feel me? We played physical, so proud of our team for playing a hard four quarters. Uh, this, what was it like in this matchup against their receivers and their quarterback kind of buying some extra time a lot of the time? I mean, yeah, good quarterback, good receivers, you know. He scrambled a lot, but we had to stay on our man and feel me just had to make plays for our team, so I think that was good for us. Uh, interception today, can you take me through that play? Uh, yeah, kind of just, <laughs> he just overthrew his receiver and I made me a play, so I just capitalized, so I'm happy I got me a little interception today, so. Continue to build on that next week. How does that feel to get one for the season? Uh, I feel good. I should have had one last week, but I didn't. So I worked on my hands this week to make sure I caught the ball this week. So I was good for that. Uh, how do you feel like you guys as a team are playing on defense? How that continued today? Uh, I think we're playing real physical. Yeah, so I think we just need to keep that up and just play with energy, and we'll be good. Uh, was there a certain uh, – Coach Cooper's kind of talked about – certain themes in each week or kind of an attitude you guys are supposed to approach? Well, was there a certain way you guys wanted to attack this one? Uh, I think the attitude every week is just out physical everybody. So I think that's the mentality that Coach Skip gives to us. So we just take that in from him. Uh, you, Julian, Lockridge all kind of rotating a little bit. Uh, is it keep you fresh? It just seems like you guys got a lot of contributors. 
Nah, we got a lot of guys that can play, so that's, it's a real reason why we have a rotation, because a lot of guys can play, so that's, some, that's a good thing for us. I mean, outside of football, we hang out with each other. We talk to each other, joke around. So we got a real strong brother, brotherhood behind that secondary. So I think that's good for us when it comes to the football field. What are you looking forward to about going to play a ranked team LB next week? Uh, I'm looking forward to come out there with a win. Lock up their receivers, play our best game. So we're be, we going to be prepared next week for the uh, Rebels. You had to go most of last season without Walker. Just how does his uh, kind of energy rub off on you guys? Uh, yeah, I think with Locke. He got a, like a lot of, he got a big strong energy. So I think from him, his energy feeds off on us. So he helped us a lot because he's a leader and he step up and show us how to just be out there and be out there and be aggressive and everything. So All right, Josiah, right, how are you feeling coming off the win? Uh, you know, it feels good, man. It always feels good to win on the road. Uh, you know, that was the biggest thing, you know, the biggest thing getting the first uh, road win. And, you know, it's, it's no better feeling than and winning, sure. And how does it feel for you to be more active in this game than you have been so far? Feels real good, you know, missing the first three games, you know, really, um, it was pretty tough on me, but, you know, my coaches had my back, my teammates had my back, and they knew what role I played when I come back, and, you know, coming back in, finally being able to step in and, you know, feel like I left off, um, keep going where I left off when I, before I got hurt, so it feels pretty good. I'm uh, just happy that I was able to be back and contribute to this win and just be here, uh, celebrate with my teammates and my coaches. Something about you in the stadium, right? Yeah, yeah. I was telling all my uh, teammates that weren't here last year, you know, I was like, this is where I got my first touchdown last year. And like, uh, the day before the game, we came and walked uh, walked down the stadium. I was like, I'm, I was like, told myself, I told my team, my teammates, like, I'm about to score right here, and having, having to score right here, and I came back in this stadium and just had that feeling again that you know my time was coming for me to score again, and you know, uh, Coach Pack uh, called the right play, and you know, I scored again, so I was pretty happy. You take me through the play. What you see? Uh, you know, we seen uh, me and Raylan to the field uh, we want we got the we got the coverage that uh, we wanted on that play and you know, then we all all we had to do is execute you know Raylan got a good pick and you know Mikey uh, you know we had to deal with the wind a little bit the ball's kind of wobbly you know I had to turn back and get the ball but you know I caught the ball took a hit but I knew I was in the end zone and I was just happy to celebrate with my teammates uh, the reception have been kind of uh, Mac heavy the last yeah. couple of weeks no, yeah. uh, how do you feel like it changed things with, with Mikey distributing it around so much uh, you know I feel like we all could play a big role um, we all play our, our roles on, on the, in the offense. You know, uh, you know, Mac was balling out the first three game, first two games, and you know, we're just happy to we're ha we're all happy to see that because you know uh, he you know the, all the work he puts in and you know he really deserves it. Um, but now like um, everyone's really getting the, the rotation in and you know feeling like they're really contributing to the offense and you know uh, playing their part and doing their job. And if we all execute, then who can stop us? If we're all uh, executing at a high level. Most definitely, like uh, having three quarterbacks that can really sling the rock and you know take control of the whole offense just brings, uh, just motivates the whole team in general. Not even just the offense, just the whole team. Because you know, uh, knock on wood, nothing ever happens. But if one goes down, we know uh, whoever's next up will uh, take full account of, uh, control of the offense and you know be a leader. You know, all three guys, all three of those guys are um, really good at uh, you know picking everybody up, being a leader. Uh, no matter if they're playing or not, you know they're always on the sideline picking each other up. They're Whenever their number's called, they'll be, they'll be ready. You're going on the road to play a ranked UNLV. What are you looking forward to about that game? Uh, you know, just the, uh, you know, they're a good team, but I feel like the uh, better team is, you know, it brings out, it brings out more, more in all of us. You know, we play even at a higher level, and we're, uh, we're able to do some really good things against some pretty good teams. You know, again, you know, you know, they're looking pretty good uh, this year, but we, we like our matchups all around, and uh, like I said, like, playing better teams that just brings more out of us. You had an injury at the beginning of the season, and now we're seeing you kind of get into full stride. Is there still more to go? Almost oh, definitely still more to go. You know, I still, uh, I, I feel like I, uh, I'm back where I left off, but there's always still room for improvement. Most definitely, you know, we'll go back and watch the film. You know, it wasn't perfect, but we got a job done, and uh, I was just happy that I was able to contribute and be a part of, uh, you know, this, this team win. Uh, but yeah, most definitely, there's still, still a whole lot of season left, still a whole lot uh, left to go. Uh, now that you're able to share the field with Braylon a little bit, uh, can you share what he's brought to the room? This Man, he just brings uh, explosiveness. He brings, um, you know, he has a lot. Of, he has a lot of um, how do I say it? experience. You know, he was thousand-yard receiver back at his old school, so he knows what it takes to 
you know, put the team on, uh, if he has to put the team on his back and uh, just be, a, just get open. Basically, he's a guy that can get open no matter what. You know, he's going to block for us. He's going to celebrate with us. And, you know, he's going to be happy for everyone. Even if he's not having a, the game he wants to have, he's still going to be happy right there cheering for us. And, you know, uh, since he's been here, you know, we've gotten real close. With, he's gotten real close to everyone. He's still a little quiet here and there. But, you know, having him here is uh, really nice having him here.